Good morning, it is Saturday and today is going to be beautiful. I have decided and therefore it will be. I think that we've reached or at least we've escaped the bad weather and the forecast for the next week is really, really bland. There's no freezing temperatures, there's no heavy rain and the feeling of relief is so immense. Pinky is good to go. I basically just attacked it with chain lube um, and the chain is nice and tight. The rest of the bike is disgusting, but it's okay because when you're riding it, you can't see it. I have to get 300 miles to Trondheim, but I don't have to be there until Monday. So I found a campsite that I'm going to aim for today. I'll get halfway there, give them a ring, make sure they're definitely open. And um, yeah, it should be quite nice. I'm riding very sympathetically today as we've had a bad time. We're just going to take it slow and steady. And we're going to get there. But this is amazing. Just having a cup of tea and a hot dog for breakfast. Um, and we don't have to go too far today, so I'm kind of waiting for it to warm up a little bit because it's still quite cold. There's a cool car. Right, I've stopped here for a minute for um, a weird reason. You're not going to believe it, but it's true. I keep seeing butterflies on the road. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can find a butterfly to show you. I mean, they're just like normal butterflies, but you know, it's a butterfly. They're cute. And also because it's pretty. It's very pretty. Everyone's enjoying how pretty it is. They've stopped. I'm going to overtake them again in about 10 minutes, but we're just going to look at some nature. So I'm not lying. There were like little black and red butterflies just all over the road. It was further back there, but not that far back. Now I can't see any. That's just, that's typical. some mushrooms. That's something. I can see one. See it? See it? You're going for the road. I told you. Some more mushrooms. Like you could make like a stroganoff. You could probably die. Still not one single frog. snow over there. It's fine. We're not going to look at it. We are back here again. Look at the sky. It is blue. You can sit out here all day. Okay, um, I'm actually back here again, which is where I had my little um, emotional breakdown last week. So um, I don't really want to stay the night here because I don't want to be recognized. It's a very small town. Um, and also it's kind of, it's a good location, but if I can get a bit further south, I think that would be better because then maybe I can stay somewhere for two nights and not have to get up too early in the morning for Monday. So I found another campsite that's an hour away from here. Just gonna use their bathroom. Um, and then we will go to that campsite, which looks super pleasant. And I'm very, very much looking forward to a night in the tent. We are, we are happy because 
it's a really nice day. I don't know what the last week was about. It's so weird. Anyway. Oh, we good. are happy today. There is a dog. Okay, I've stopped here because I went past it on my way up and didn't have time to stop. Um, so I'm happy to have seen it again. It's closed, but we're gonna walk around anyway because it's very cute. I guess this is like a little fishing camping thing. Um, and I just love the way that in Norway there's a lot of people that have grass on their roofs. Like in England we have thatch. And in Norway they have meadow. I'm kind of disappointed that it's shut because I thought it was going to be a shop and I've been tasked with finding a cute little troll for my sister. Um, but it's fine. I will definitely find my sister a little troll. I checked down for the night. I am at pitch zero, which is here. Um, I, don't, I don't think there could be a, a better place to camp. I've even got some mushrooms. That is, um, that is a relief to see. It's up. We found somewhere sort of stable for Pinky to spend the night. I need to make my bed and tidy up a little bit. And then figure out what I'm gonna eat. I forgot to put detergent in the laundry. To put the clothes in. <laughs> mm. Okay, the very patient receptionist fixed it for me. Oh my god, a bug. Hi. What are you? Oh my god, it's oh my god, it jumped. Okay. okay. My laundry is on, my bed is made. I do not want to ask the nice receptionist any more questions for at least an hour. We are gonna go for a walk. So this is something that I've noticed, and I don't know if it's weird to everybody else, but they really like their crazy golf here. A lot of campsites have crazy golf. It's like a really specific thing to be into, enough that if you went on holiday, you would want to do it. I mean, is there like a, a path? Can I go for a walk or can I just play crazy golf? It's not even that crazy. It's a straight line. This is nice. It's like natural jetty. Oh, it's so peaceful. I want to see a frog so bad. Not even a little bit of wind. Where did it all go? I'm gonna order a pizza because the place does pizza. No one's gonna eat the food that I brought, but I really want a pizza now. One loaded pizza. Um, sorry this video is a little bit late, I completely forgot to record an ending and also edit and upload it. I was busy chatting away to my mum and my dad on WhatsApp and eating a pizza. This is my setup for the night, it is exactly the same as the setup for the last few times I have camped, except I thought it was going to be a little bit warmer tonight so I haven't done the sleeping bag within a sleeping bag but I think I might revisit that decision because actually it's really cold. Just waiting for my laundry to dry so that I can pack that up and then go to bed. Well not really go to bed because it's really early but get into the sleeping bag and be in bed. So 
I hope you've enjoyed my daily update and I will catch up with you tomorrow, maybe. Bye!